check it. Before the crowds, before the money, before anyone even bothers knowing your name. They're gonna be early mornings, bruised egos, bloody mats, and a lot of lonely nights. It takes sacrifice, dedication, hard work, and definitely some determination. This is Amateur MMA. Fight life starts here. Uh, when I got out of the military, I started a uh, clothing line called Fallen Not Forgotten. Uh, that's my company, that's my business, uh, that's my future. Um, so for right now, amateur fighting uh, for me is just something to keep me busy, keep me entertained, keep me confident. I'm waiting for Fallen Not Forgotten, I'm waiting for certain things to get into place. You know, we're working on mass production right now and everything, so that takes a lot of time. So amateur uh, fighting is filling in for that right now. When I'm fighting, I like to think like I do this in, for myself. It's a, it's really a selfish sport. It's a one-man sport. I mean, um, going to work is another thing. You know, you gotta get up and you know you gotta make money. You gotta put food on the uh, on the table and stuff. But you know, MMA fighters they don't get paid a lot. You know, so here I feel like you know I don't I don't I put in so much time, so much effort. You know, but really it comes down to it just because I love doing it. After you go through war and you experience uh, how bad everything can be. Uh, you see the ones that fight for it, then you come home and you see the ones that did not go to war but still continue to fight for it. You see your, grand your grandparents, you see your family line, everything that they put forth to make this country what it is now, is uh, it's changing. It's, uh, it's not being taken away from us, but things just aren't in the perspective that they need to be in. And uh, that's where my true fight is at, that's where the real fight is, and that's where it, uh, I'll, I'll, I will put everything that happened. Uh, I, I, I'd like to make a huge change, I want a lot of people behind me on this. We're gonna make it happen. It's my passion, you know, it's, it's, it's what drives me every day. You know, going to work at a 40 hours a week, you know, even if I got paid good, I still wouldn't be happy. You know, this is what I love to do. This is what I was, you know, raised up as the, you know, with four brothers, you know, we, we always, you know, this is just in our blood. <laughs> I'd definitely like to thank uh, Jeff Meyer for always being there for me and uh, getting me right in. And uh, Karen over there has helped me out so much. I'd really like to thank her. And uh, a true thank you goes out to all the ones that put in work, put in hours, and go after the things that uh, we know are necessary in life to get this, get everything cleaned up, if you will, and more positive and. Uh, you know, life's tough right now and it's, it's hard to do what you gotta do and stuff like that, but if you're just sitting there fighting for it and everything like that, just know that I'm sitting here uh, supporting you and I, I thank you for everything that you're doing and we're right here beside you at Fallen Not Forgotten, so. I just wanted to thank uh, Skipper Kelp, Fight Capital, shout out to all those guys, all the boys in the gym, Branson Shepard, Corey, Dave, Chris Bang, Jarris Bang, uh, Robert Drysdale, Jonathan Ballgame, my strength conditioning coach, uh, John Priest, um, all you guys, thank you for everyone, uh, my friends, family, support, everyone looking out for me. Thank you guys, love all you guys. But if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. Oh, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> There's nothing much to say. Um, and I, it's, it's all respect. I, I have I have fear for my opponent in a small sense, but it's not. I'm not gonna let that overwhelm. I'm gonna come right at you. It's just it's what we. It's what you have to do. You're there to fight. You're not. You have to. You gotta take over your opponent. You can't let him get, you know, he gets one good shot on you or something and it changes everything and it just works like that. And I don't take chances like that. I'm not risking it. Uh, when, the when, when the time comes to where it's a, it's a good battle and stuff like that, then we're gonna see what uh, how much heart we really have, so. My prediction, I think this is gonna be a good fight. I mean, I'm gonna take it to you and I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight my fight. I feel like this is my fight and I'm gonna impose my game, so whatever you got, you know what I mean? Make sure, make sure it's heavy, it's coming heavy because I'm running right through you, bro.